Well, I want to move on to the next topic. Um, Arnie, distressed properties, short sales, foreclosures. Um, we don't see as many of them anymore, um, but I think you know the fact that we do still see some of them. Uh, consumers that you know have just started shopping, um, that that maybe weren't looking at real estate two and three years ago, are kind of caught off guard in some of the differences of the process when you buy a short sale foreclosure. And I wanted to talk to you specifically about the mortgage side of it, um, some of the pitfalls of buying a, a short sale or foreclosure and getting a mortgage, and, and obviously condition, and some of those things come into play. Well, condition comes into play. Short sales definitely have dropped off significantly. I still think there are some bank loan foreclosures out there that are, are, are happening. But um, here's what happens a lot of times. This is what you got to check if you're a consumer is that uh, when you buy a foreclosed home, a lot of times there's an investor in the middle of that transaction. Yep. And uh, if you have an investor, there is a 90-day rule. And yep. um, if you go if you go with FHA, so you have you can't write a contract until you've waited 90 days from the time that investor has bought that property. So there's been a lot of people get caught into that yep. recently. And then from, 100, from 91 days to 180 days, um, if you have more of a 20% increase, and value, you have to get two appraisals. So that's that's the kind of a guideline that a lot of mortgage lenders get caught with. If you go FHA, if you go conventional, which maybe is a little tougher to get approved for, you don't have those rules. And condition-wise, um, a lot of people forget that condition matters not just in you know, it, not just for the buyer, but for the bank as well. Because if the property has condition detriments or it can't get insured, or you know, and a lot of that is more common with with foreclosures and short sales because of the lack of maintenance. So you could have a bad roof that causes a home not to be able to get insured and then no one can buy it. They, no one can buy it. We, or they can buy cash. But We can buy cash, yeah. Um, or you, know, or you, you know, you can do a 2 or 3K. That's, a, that's one option depending on the safety and livability of the issue. But we, we just do a lot of escrow holdbacks at Waterstone. We're kind of unique in that area. And if it's a, if it's a repair or something you need to do that doesn't affect the safety and livability of the property, then we can actually close and escrow for that stuff to be done hey, after, after closing. closing. And, and you know, it, you, whether the buyer pays for it or the seller pays for it, we can talk you through the logistics on that. Uh, Something but, that saved us a few times. You guys have done yeah. a great job. We've had deals where things have popped up in the inspection and, you know, oh, no, the buyer doesn't want to pay it, the seller doesn't want to pay it. Okay, well, we can we can do the escrow holdback. And escrow it's holdback. been a great program to save deals for us. Right. You know, we can we can raise the price to do that. We can, you know, we can have this... We can do a lot of things to make the escrow hold back happen so we can close along. We actually had a house during the contract process the other day, had a drive-by shooting, and had a bullet hole in the window. <laughs> wow, <laughs> oh, and so we have to do a dry, uh, escrow hold back for a, for a bullet hole window. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that, so, and the, so the buyer still wants to buy it? Still wants to buy it, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's interesting. You know what? You know what? But the way I think about it is, hey, if it happened, it, it already, it's already out of the way. It's probably right, not yeah, the likelihood right, of it right, yeah. lightning Light striking up, right. twice is pretty slim. So yeah. I'd actually be kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm not following. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah, that's a little scary. Yeah. But uh, but but so and and I, I think that a lot of people when they're out there looking, let's say it's somebody that's just new to the house hunting, and they're looking at foreclosures. Um, you know, there can also be a lot of title delays, right? There can be things that pop up in title that cause that closing not to be as smooth. Yeah, it could pop. Yeah, the title work has to be uh, clean. Um, that's something you probably need to check on, make sure that you got clean title, because otherwise it's going to delay the times that you can. And almost all. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time we had a short sale or foreclosure closing that was smooth. Mm -hmm. So just plan on setbacks and obstacles to go through if you buy a foreclosure short sale, playing on a little additional stress. And that's kind of the, you know, you want to get it, you know, a lot of people think that short sales and foreclosures are a better deal. In reality, they're not really anymore. The, the prices for short sales and foreclosures are pretty close to retail. They're not that discounted they're anymore. They're not that discounted anymore. Well, you know? and the big thing is, um, again, uh, with, with the bank, the banks are not going to do any repairs to the property. So, again, going back to the escrow holdback, if, you know, if you like, if there's a place you like, the price is right, the location is right, everything is right. It just has a few deferred maintenance things. Uh, well, we can we can work with that with with the escrow holdback program. I'll say, and I, I, I got a question. If it, if a deal falls through with that, and you have to, you get another buyer. Does the process start over completely? A lot of times, with a short sale, yeah. With a foreclosure, no. The foreclosure can, the, you know, the foreclosure can close like a normal property, but a short sale, yes. But we got to run to a break, so we'll continue talking about that. We're also going to get to, can your smelly pet uh, curb your home sale or cause your home That'd not to good. sell? Uh, we run into that a lot, and we'll be back to talk about that after a quick break here on the Duncan Duo Show.